What if the line between fiction and reality blurred, and the thrill of a theater performance extended beyond the stage? Welcome to the realm of haunted theaters, where the drama unfolds not only on the stage, but also in the spectral realm. We begin our journey in the heart of London at the Royal Drury Lane Theatre. Built in the late 18th century, it is one of the oldest and most haunted theatres in the world. Generations of actors and theatregoers have whispered tales of the Man in Grey, a ghostly figure that haunts the theatre, dressed in an 18th century attire. He is often seen in the upper circle, silently watching the performances. Some even claim to have seen him walk through walls. Next, we traverse the Atlantic to the St. James Theatre in New York City. Known for its opulence and grandeur, this theatre has a resident ghost, a former vaudeville performer named Olive Thomas. She is often seen in the dressing rooms, primping and preening, forever ready for her next performance. Many actors have reported hearing her giggles or seeing her ghostly figure in the mirror. Our journey then takes us to the spectral heart of the American South, to the Dock Street Theatre in Charleston, South Carolina. This theatre is home to not one, but two haunting presences. The first is the ghost of Nettie, a prostitute from the 19th century who met an untimely end in the building. The second is the spirit of an 18th century gentleman, often seen in the balcony, appearing and disappearing at will. Finally, we return to the United Kingdom, to the Theatre Royal in York. This theatre is home to the infamous Grey Lady, a spectral figure that has terrified both actors and theatregoers for centuries. She is often seen floating through the theatre, her Grey figure a chilling sight in the dim light. To summarize, these theatres offer more than just performances. They are a gateway into a world where the past and the present collide, where spectral figures continue to perform long after the curtain has dropped. From the Man in Grey at the Royal Drury Lane Theatre, to the giggling Olive Thomas at the St. James Theatre, the ethereal Nettie and the Gentleman at the Dock Street Theatre, and finally, the Grey Lady at the Theatre Royal, each theatre is a testament to the enduring allure of the spectral world. These chilling stories and facts remind us that sometimes, the most haunting performances occur not on the stage, but in the shadows of the theatre. The thrill of a theatre performance, it seems, extends far beyond the stage and into the realm of the supernatural. So the next time you find yourself in a theatre, remember to look beyond the stage, for you never know who might be watching from the shadows.